In this video, I'll show the functionality of the Thermo Scientific Ionic X Portable XRF Analyzer. Ionic X is a very small portable XRF analyzer that is purpose built to identify a variety of ionic salt raw materials such as sodium chloride, potassium chloride, and calcium chloride. Ionic X can also identify basic compounds like sodium hydroxide. The Ionic X uses an X ray tube to emit a primary beam of X rays from the front of the instrument into the sample to generate a fluorescence spectra for specific ionic salt materials and our proprietary correlation value peak matching algorithm determines spectral matching to positively identify a given material. The analyzer's power button is located on the left for turning the instrument on or off. In the center is a four-way directional pad for menu selection, and on the right is the enter button. On the back of the instrument are ports for both power and data connection. The analyzer also uses a five-second hot swappable battery pack to provide power. The analyzer may use a power plug connected to a wall outlet during extended use. The Ionic X uses a color touchscreen display. While Ionic X has this touchscreen, routine use of the instrument will be performed using the Ionic X remote software application, which allows for computer control of the analyzer and menu functions. The Ionic X system comes with a two part mini test stand accessory that is required for routine use. The bottom half cradles the XRF analyzer and secures the instrument in place. The top half of the test stand serves as both a sample holder for analysis and safety interlock. The instrument will not function without the sample holder securely connected. Samples themselves are prepared in advance using small XRF sample cups. Ionic X has three user access levels, operator, developer, and administrator. The operator level user may only generate data records and sync data to a computer or networked archive destination of choice. The developer level user may create new SALT ID methods in addition to generating data records and sync data. The administrator level user may perform system-wide settings changes and add or remove users in addition to being able to create new SALT ID methods, generating data records, and performing data sync. To use the Ionic X remote application, make sure to connect the Ionic X to your computer using the supplied USB cable. Using the Ionic X remote application, let's log into the instrument as an operator to show how the instrument functions. Note that the Ionic X remote application is a direct controller for the analyzer. Using the application allows for the use of a physical keyboard or mouse drag and click movements to move around the screen and select items. One may also use the virtual four-way directional pad to access menu items. For this demonstration, I will use the virtual keypad to enter in the simple password I've created for this operator account. Click the check mark to confirm password entry and access the main screen. First, let's run a self-test. The self-test is performed using a potassium chloride salt standard. The self-test is accessed by going to Settings, Maintenance, Self-Test. Click again on Run Self-Test Now to enter the testing screen. Now we position the self-test sample to take a reading. Open the top of the sample compartment and set the salt standard in place. Be sure to securely close and lock the lid to ensure the safety interlock is engaged. Note that I am also wearing a suitable radiation monitoring accessory. Be sure to comply with your site requirements when using instrumentation with X-ray emissions. Click the icon in the top left of the screen to enter in batch and sample information. For this demonstration, I'm using a physical keyboard to type my batch information. Select Save. Click the green Start button to begin the analysis. Note on the left side of the screen, there's a live camera image of the sample in the compartment. This lets the user know if the sample has been properly seated. Once analysis is complete, we are presented with the results screen. Here we see the instrument has passed the daily self-test. Click the back arrow icon at the top of the screen three times to return to the main menu. Now let's run a sample of a prepared salt material. For this test, I'll use sodium chloride as my sample. 
Using the Ionic X remote application, click Analyze to enter the testing screen. First, ensure the correct ID method has been selected for use. Click the icon on the bottom left of the remote view screen and click on the sodium chloride method to select and load that method for use. You can confirm it has been selected by the method name displayed at the bottom of the screen. Click the icon on the bottom right of the remote view screen to see additional details about the method that was selected, such as the method's name, the compound it is calibrated to identify, as well as the signature names included in the method. Click Cancel to return to the testing screen. Click the icon in the upper left corner to enter in your own batch, sample, and notes that you feel are relevant to your analysis. Once completed, click the Save button to return back to the testing screen. Open the top of the sample compartment and insert your prepared sample. Be sure to securely close and lock the lid to ensure the safety interlock is engaged. Note again the radiation monitoring device I'm wearing as part of safety protocol. Note on the camera connected view, the sample has been properly placed. With sample in place, click the green start button to begin the analysis. Typical analysis time takes about 35 seconds to complete. During the measurement, do not open the top of the sample compartment, otherwise the test will abort. Once the test is completed, the result screen will be displayed. Here we see a pass result for sodium chloride. Click the back arrow at the top of the screen and let's run a second sample of sodium chloride. Open the top of the sample compartment and replace the sample with the next one. Securely close and lock the lid. Click the top left icon to check that the sample counter has increased by one. Click the green start icon to begin the analysis. Note that any time there are x-rays emitted, the instrument will first make an audible sound cue that analysis has begun and it will also display red indication lights for the duration of emission. Here we have a failing result. Doing a little investigation shows that this is not sodium chloride. Click the back arrow to return to the testing screen, and click it again to return to the main menu. Next, click on Data to review the results collected on the instrument so far. Click the wrench icon and select Full Sync to transfer data from the instrument to the archive location to review reports and also examine spectra using the Ionic X data application. Once the sync is complete, the Ionic X remote application may be disconnected and closed. Using Ionic X data, one may review the data collected prior to sync. Click Open and select the .ixd file that was recently synced to view all the data collected during use. Double-clicking on the sodium chloride pass run, we can see the spectral overlay and match for the sodium chloride sample. One may zoom in on the total spectrum, autoscale the spectrum, or view a normalized XRF spectrum. Looking at the failed sample, we can see some spectral differences right away from peak location and intensities. Selecting both the pass and fail spectra, we can overlay them and see how they match with one another. Selecting the main spectra to view, we can see immediately the difference in peak locations and intensities. Various reports will be found in the archive location. Here's an example of a sample run report PDF. On the report, you'll see the user who generated the data a time date stamp for when the run was generated, as well as the instrument's passing self-test results. Most importantly is the passing C value and the overall result of the sample run. A graphical overlay of the sample scan and method signature is displayed for visual inspection. Here's an example of a batch report in PDF format. 
the batch report is easily parsed by a LIMS or suitable data management system. A text version of the batch report is also available for use. Finally, the audit log captures the series of events that have occurred on the instrument. User actions are recorded between sync events in the order they occur to maintain data compliance. Audit logs that capture work performed using the Ionic X suite of software applications is also generated. As Thermo Fisher continues to expand within the pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical space, there are people who do what you do at your manufacturing and testing facilities, and we're collaborating with them to more fully develop purpose-built applications and hardware to enhance our partnerships with you. We have three web pages listed here, which you can visit for more information, and of course, to contact us. Thank you so much for sharing your time.